Hello viewers, I welcome you all from my charity of tech channel and today we will talk about how we can create a different type of organizational units in Active Directory that is very important for the management point of view whenever we go into uh, Active Directory users and computers uh, this is our domain controller in which uh, Active Directory role is installed and this is our domain that is hltf.tech and if we go into this company this is actually the company in which all the users are uh, there and uh, in this uh, this is actually the organizational unit okay this is the first organizational unit and uh, all of the other organizational units that are built in that are computers that are domain controllers that are foreign security principles managed service accounts and users these all are uh, uh, available uh, whenever you create, uh, whenever you install the Active Directory users and computer role. So these are not uh, made by uh, any person. They are made by the domain itself. So you have to make uh, some organizational unit uh, in order to better manage our uh, users and uh, machines. For that purpose let's say we have one organizational unit which I created earlier that is actually uh, representing my company okay all of the users that will be uh, there in my uh, organization or company will uh, come under this organizational unit so what I will do here I will click uh, I will right click here and I will click on new and I will uh, create organizational unit what I'm going to do I am going to define a different uh, different type of uh, uh, organizational units for example I have uh, one finance department in my company and I want that all the users of uh, finance department must uh, go into this uh, organizational unit so I will click next so I have created the finance department similarly I will create one more department that will be uh, let's say HR department I want that all the users of uh, HR department must go in this organizational unit and uh, in this organizational unit I can create further uh, more organizational unit okay so let's say I want to make uh, organizational units of HR machines. I'm going to type HR. Uh, sorry, uh, for better understanding, I will write HR computers. So all the computers that are uh, given to HR department uh, will be uh, will come under this uh, organizational unit and all the users will come under this organizational unit so similarly i can do it for finance department as well so i will create click new organizational unit and i will select finance computers okay wonderful so i have just created two uh, departments here uh, I also have log and finance uh, sorry log and supply chain department so uh, what I can do uh, let's say uh, I have uh, HLTF tech company group finance employees HR employees log employees okay I haven't created the log department so I will click on new organizational unit and I will type log department here so these are organization units can be uh, created in order to better organize your uh, users and computers of your old departments uh, within your organization that is very important so why it is uh, so much important what I have done I have created three uh, departments you can create as many departments as your company has uh, and in each department I have also created one organizational unit in in which I will move the computers that are given by the company that are uh, 
designated or assigned by or by the company to that particular department users so for that purpose uh, let me tell you the purpose of this organization units we create different type of policies for different type of departments for example i want that the, the users of finance department uh, must have some particular group policy applied on it uh, we can say that it may, may be a group policy of uh, uh, wallpaper okay i want that a specific wallpaper may appear on all the computers of finance department and i want a separate wallpaper to be appear on hr department and separate for log department so this is an example in which we created with in which we create a different type of uh, group, group group policy objects that are gpos and we can assign it here to different type of organizational units so for moving the uh, particular users to their respective organizational unit is very easy all we have to do is we uh, can either uh, click on it and right click move to uh, the particular i will select and i can move it i can also move it in another way let's say i want to move this one i will drag it and paste it here it will also move me it will also move this user here so in this way you can move the users so let's quickly uh, move the users to their respective organizational units okay this one is a, a group in which all users are members so what i will do i will move it to here and i will this move this group here and i will move this group here okay this one is the top group so i will leave it default two more uh, one more user and group is left supply chain so let's quickly create uh, one more organizational unit for supply chain department and i will click ok and in that i will also create new organizational unit supply chain computers i will click ok and in this way uh, i have created the users and organizational units i have moved the users okay that's fine now my uh, organization contains uh, four different type of organizational units and in this organizational unit there is further one more organizational unit whenever uh, you join any computer with the domain it ultimately comes here right now these are four computers but they are my servers so i will not move them uh, but whenever you join uh, any computer with uh, the domain they come here so you can just uh, move them to the respective ou where this computer is assigned so in this way you can uh, keep your inventory updated and you can know uh, you can better know that which user using which pc and similarly it is very easy uh, for the uh, for any policy to be implemented on any particular department and uh, you can uh, create the group policies uh, i will cover it in my uh, upcoming videos as well that is gpmc group policy management console by using that console you can create group policies and you can assign it on various type of organizational units so we yes, thank you for watching this short tutorial and subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos i thank you all